Hi everyone, it's Taylor here, and today I'm going to share with you how to create this interactive card called a theater fold card using several of our new products. You simply pull on the outside flaps to open up to the shadow box element in the center. It all starts with the theater fold frame die set, which includes the outer edged frame along with the two strips that you'll need to adhere in order for those flaps not to disconnect from the outside frame. Then we've made it really easy for you and we have these packs called theater fold flaps that come in sugar cube and toffee and include the base portion along with the flaps that are pre-cut and pre-scored at exactly the right spot. We also give you the measurements if you want to do the cutting yourself. We have the Oh My Word Happy Birthday set along with the bitty borders and the coordinating dies that are designed to coordinate perfectly for completing this concept on the front and the inside of your project. I'll be using my sticky sheets along with post-it labeling tape for a little bit of masking. And then I'll be doing my embossing with my tools. I have the powder tool for conditioning my cardstock, the Versamark for stamping, and the white embossing powder. Then I'll be doing a little bit of blending with the Here Comes the Sun stencil, which is not pictured here, along with candy corn and pineapple inks and my blender brushes. For my image stamping, I'll be using Oreo ink, and then I'll be coloring that cute little rainbow image with several Copic markers. I'll be starting with the Theater Fold Frame die set, which includes those two die pieces for the outer frame and then the strips that you'll need in order for those flaps not to pull away from the frame. The instructions and measurements for creating the Theater Fold interactive card are printed on the back of the die packaging, but we've made it really easy for you by providing packages of pre-cut and pre-scored Theater Fold flaps. If you choose to purchase these, they come in sugar cube and toffee, and each card requires one base piece and two of the pre-scored flap pieces. I'll be using the Playful Patterns Bold for the front of this project, and I decided to separate out all of the floral patterns from the set in each of the different colors. I'm going to cut two strips from each of these pieces and I'm cutting those at 3 8 inches wide for all of the different colors in the rainbow. And then I will put these together using an adhesive sheet and we'll die cut our front element using that piece. So you can see I have my sticky sheet here and I'm just going to remove the backing paper and place that down onto the cardstock. And then after removing the other portion of the backing paper, I will have a sticky piece of cardstock and I can line up those strips of floral pattern in a rainbow order. So red, dark pink, light pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And then I'll start over once I get through the first round. So once that's all finished, I'm going to use this piece with that theater frame die cut portion. And we're going to basically get a couple of cards for one. Before I do the die cutting though, I want to emboss my sentiment in exactly the right position. So I've placed that die over the top of my cardstock piece, exactly where I will end up cutting it, and then I've placed the stamp over the top, picking it up with the lid of my Misty. I already conditioned my cardstock piece, and so now I am just stamping that sentiment in Versamark, and I'm going to heat emboss with the white embossing powder. So then when I'm ready to die cut, the sentiment is going to be perfectly centered in the middle of this cardstock rainbow piece that we've created. So here I'll just finish heating the sentiment. You can see it turn from kind of a dusty white into the bright glossy white. And then I've cleaned off that extra residue and placed the die back over the top. Now when you send this through, you'll notice the die cuts the sentiment perfectly in half and gives me two panels for that inside portion and then one panel for the outer portion. Next I'll take the two strips from the die set and die cut those from sugar cube cardstock. You will need both of the strips for one project and you can see that they have the etched impression line from the die cutting process that will allow you to fold those in exactly the right spot. So I'm just going to crease those right on those impression lines. Now I've grabbed two of the theater fold flaps from our pre-cut and pre-scored set and I'm just folding those over onto themselves so they look a little bit like a tent if you see here just like that. Now we're going to add adhesive to the back of the flap up into the first score line. So on that smallest portion there we're going to add adhesive and then line that up perfectly with the left side edge of our base piece. Now it's not going to go perfectly from top to bottom. You want to just make sure that it's centered from top to bottom. It doesn't go all the way to the top and bottom edge. 
The most important part of your second flap is that it lines up in the middle. So you want to take that fold line, line it up with the first flap, and then adhere it. It might overlap just slightly on the right side edge, but that's easy to trim off. As long as the center portion matches up in the middle, then your card will come together just perfectly. If you've adhered everything correctly, you should be able to pull on those flaps and reveal the center just like I'm showing here. Now I want to decorate the inside of my card so that when someone opens it up, it looks like a little scene. And so I'm taking a little bit of pixie spray to my stencil. It's called Here Comes the Sun. And I'm going to blender brush that first with the pineapple ink and then with the candy corn ink towards the center of the sunshine. Now I have put a little bit of that post-it labeling tape on the edges of my flaps. That's where I don't want the ink to get, so I don't want it to go onto the front of the flaps, uh, just onto the sides of the flaps. So now you can see as we open that up, you're going to see that sunshine pattern in the middle. Now we can finish the final element of the interactive card, which is adding these strips to the frame. So I'm putting a little bit of adhesive up into the score line and then adhering that to the back of the frame, as you see here, right up against the die cut portion in the middle. And then it should line up perfectly top to bottom as well. So you should end up with a little piece that you can see through when you squeeze it a little bit. And your flaps should fit just perfectly inside of the strip that you adhered down. So once you have those inserted into the frame, you can pull from the edges and reveal the theater fold on the inside. Now we can adhere our sentiment that was perfectly cut with that same die onto the flaps that we put down on our project. So I have the right side adhered and then I'm going to match up the left side, making sure that I hold that outside frame perfectly in place where I need it to be so that when the card comes together, everything lines up just perfectly. Now we're going to finish off the inside of the card using one of the images from the Bitty Borders set, which were all designed and sized to fit perfectly on the inside shadow box portion of the Theater Fold interactive card. I stamped that with Oreo ink and I'm coloring it with various Copics and I've decided on just a one color lay for this. I'm not doing a lot of blending with those Copics and I think it turned out super cute. So once we have that image all finished up, it's ready to adhere to the inside of the project. I'm actually going to remove the outer frame so that we can stamp the sentiment and I'm going to do that in my Misty. The flaps will overlap the outer edges, but we can still get a great impression. I've put the image down at the bottom so that I can keep in mind where I want my sentiment to hit. And once the sentiment is stamped, I can place that outer frame back onto my project so I know exactly where I want to place the image. So just slip those flaps back into the little slots that we created with the strips. And you can see it's opening perfectly and I can decide exactly where I want that rainbow image to come out. So you can see how this fun interactive card turned out and it will provide a really fun surprise for the recipient. You can find all of our Theater Fold products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.